As the fall semester comes to a close, today the Paisano interviews students to gather their thoughts on finals, what motivates them, and what they hope for the next semester. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm a bit ready. I could study more. Um, I love that the third floor of the JPL is open because that is the best studying spot. Um, so that has really helped me kind of pound out that studying for those finals. I'm, I'm kind of just like studying as much as I can at the moment. Just chemistry is the being in my existence right now. I'm taking it week by week. So I want to get through this week first and then I'll worry about next week. I have to be. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have any finals, just a lot of essays that I still need to work on an outline. But I know that I know that I'll get there. I know I'll get them done. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. We'll see how accounting goes, but yeah. I think that this semester was actually my better one. I was transferred here last semester and I really learned how to study and I talked to a lot of friends and I had a peer mentor last semester and she really helped me in the studying regard. Um, I procrastinate too much um, but I've really kind of dumbed down on that and fixed that problem with my um, school history so yeah I think it's been a great semester actually. It would be my like overall study habits and making a schedule kind of like all over the place. Yeah it's definitely like uh, prioritizing more on my sleep I feel like I didn't really do that so I got like not an adequate amount of sleep so that's something I would improve just managing my time more um, so I can fit more sleep into my schedule. I feel like time management is always um a reoccurring theme with me. Um, I always think that I'll learn better and then I don't, but hopefully <laughs> into adulthood that will not be a problem for me. Um, so yeah, time management, but I don't regret a single thing that I've been a part of this year. Um, not really. I feel like my whole time like in school I've like changed a lot and like gotten more like mature and I have like a lot more inner motivation than I used to, so I feel like I'm doing okay. The holidays, for sure. The holidays is my favorite time of the year, um, so I want to go back home and tell my family how well I did, and kind of boast about that. Um, tell the you know the extended family coming to Thanksgiving, my great aunts and great uncles, <laughs> so they'll be happy. And yeah, that's what's motivating me. Uh, getting the degree, because I mean I already started, so I gotta yeah, finish. Uh, football season is like really fun for me so just like the championship game and also the bowl game is like what I'm looking forward to um, also just like being able to like spend time more time with like my friends and family like once the semester finishes like what's helping keep me going I'm having a really hard time with motivation right now because I'm like so tired of school at the moment <laughs> but I I'm just kind of thinking of the finish line I'm thinking of graduation and how my four and a half years of work is finally going to be hopefully put to you. <laughs> That's like really dark, but like, <laughs> maybe cut that part out. Um, so what is, <laughs> what is motivating me to get to the end of the semester? Um, I'm really looking forward to finally being a college graduate and getting my degree and hopefully getting into a job that it, like I'll enjoy and I get to utilize my skills. Yeah, uh, I'm in band, so in Sosa, so the bowl game and the championship game, I'm looking forward to both of those. I would say, because if it was me last semester, I'd be talking to myself. I would say it's the final stretch. You've come this far, there's no point in ruining it now. You know, you have done so much, you've done all you can all semester, it's just the last, last bit and just pushing through is really what you can do because it'll go by super fast if you have that mindset. Uh, I'd say it's not the end of the world if you're not performing too well or how you would like your grades to be. Like, it's a process, you know, there's going to be wins and losses, but you just got to keep going. Keep going, do things that like you enjoy to keep going, so like whether it's like hanging out with your friends, or, like studying, like going to cute coffee shops or like if it's like working out or whatever, just doing small things to help keep you going, just knowing that the end is coming, like we're almost there. 
you're almost there. You're literally three weeks away. I always, I always tell myself this, like whenever I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this, or like, I really don't want to deal with this right now. I always think, okay, in four weeks from now, you're going to be in Sweet Bliss. You're going to be done with school. You're going to be able to relax. You're going to be able to sleep in. You're going to have your own time again. So just think about that. Get things accomplished, and before you know it, you'll, you'll be relaxing. Um, yeah, I would say just like take time for yourself. Like you get bogged down with school, just like take an afternoon and do something you love and get inspired and then go back and do some more homework. I am and I'm not. I love school, actually. I love coming here every day and seeing new faces and old faces and getting the chance to sit on campus and kind of chill out and do my work. But I am also ready for the break. Um, I am a workaholic, I would say, so I tend to work myself a little bit overload. Um, but yes, so I'm excited to go see family. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to the end of it. You know, I just want to enjoy the winter break afterwards. I am, I'm looking forward to the bowl game and just having a really long break afterwards and just uh, working more just because I didn't get to work a lot during the semester. If you would have asked me like four months ago if I was looking forward to the end of the semester, I would have been yes. But now since it's coming to a close, it's kind of bittersweet because I'm graduating and I am going to miss everything that I've experienced here, but it's time to move on to the next thing. <laughs> I will not be here next semester. <laughs> Looking forward to, I guess, the new classes that I'll be taking and meeting people in those classes and meeting my professors um, and people who I share um, similar likings and similar values with. Um, since I'll be taking more classes accustomed to my major. So it'll be smaller classes. So I'm very excited for meeting new people. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next semester. Yeah, I kind of organized a schedule where it's kind of nice for me to move around. I am, um, there's gonna be like a lot of changes and I'm gonna be like trying like different organizations that I haven't tried before. So that's um, what I'm most excited about is trying new things. Um, yeah, because I'll have a lot more free time, and the f I love the fall, but it's just really busy. So like the spring always feels like a breath of fresh air. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out um, the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel, and check out www.paisano-online.com. And this has been Caitlin Rosas with the Paisano. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click our logo to subscribe, or click the videos for more from the Paisano. Leave a comment letting us know your thoughts and what you'd like to see us cover next.